Hello! So today I was going to do a birthday haul but I don't actually have all my birthday presents yet so I'm going to do that next week because it was my birthday on Thursday. So this week I thought I would do a makeup starter kit. So say if you are maybe like 13, 14 or maybe even younger and your parents have decided to let you finally wear makeup these are the products that I would recommend. So the first thing that I would start with would definitely be a foundation. Now foundations are really hard to recommend because it depends on your own personal preference and it depends on your skin type and what kind of coverage you want and what kind of feel you like. A BB cream is an excellent place to start. It's not too much of a heavy coverage. It's quite a light coverage and it's better for your skin as well so if you have never worn makeup before maybe your skin is in a bit of better condition than someone who has worn makeup for a while. One of the best BB foundations that are in the drugstores or high streets because all of my products will be in drugstores or high streets so all sort of budget conscious um, products so the best ones in the high street at the moment are definitely the sleek BB creams. Now they're not really really cheap but they're also not really really expensive so the sleek BB creams are $8.99 but they are really really nice they feel really light on your face and they give you just that just the right amount of coverage I would say they do come in a vast range of shades from very very fair like me and to very very dark so the shade range is absolutely amazing so that's a great place to start. If you want something a bit more sort of light to medium coverage, the Rimmel Match Perfection is an amazing foundation for that. Um, it's really really light and it gives you just that sort of medium coverage. You can build it but it's not overly buildable so you can't build it to a full coverage. But um, it's one of my favourite um, drugstore foundations of the moment. If you want to go that one step further, oh I should say actually, Rimmel Perfection is £6.99 in um, Super Drug. If you want a more full coverage, the Revlon Colour Stay, even though I have the, a really massive love-hate relationship with this foundation, for a full coverage um, high street foundation it is absolutely amazing and it comes in, this one is the combination to oily skin, but they do do, um, I think it's combination to dry or dry to very dry skin so they cater for all different skin types and this one retails at £12.49 so it is a lot more expensive than the other two um, but you do get an excellent product for that. The next key thing that you want in your basic makeup kit is blushes. Now I don't have a massive amount of high street um, or drugstore blushes. One of the things I th would say with blushes is if you have very very fair skin like me go for very light blushes so for example, this is one of my high street ones that I absolutely love. This one is the MUA Mosaic Blush. And it's like a really light pink. But this one has all like different tones in it as well. So it has, this is sort of like a highlighter built in. With the little um, purple bits in there, it gives you a really nice shimmer. But this one's very, very light. This one's excellent for light skins or like a highlighter for dark skins. But for light skins this is sort of the shade you want to be going for this or something like this one's a MAC one but you can get colors like this in the drugstores like a really light pink don't be put off by the brightness of the pinks the brighter the pink the better for fair skin I found in my experience anyway but lighter blushes for fair skins is really really good if you have medium to olive skins I would definitely recommend going for um, more of a peachy tone. So this one is again a MAC one but you can get colours that are similar in high street and drugstore. And this one, definitely peachy tones, you can go maybe go a little bit darker than this but I would aim for something more in this shade range. If you have quite dark skin I would recommend um, more of a reddy or a plummy colour. So this one, again MAC but you can get the same sort of shades in drugstores. This one is a more browny red colour or you could go for a more of a purpley plum colour as well. Regarding blushes for um, like high street drugstore brands, I went in to Superdrug the other day and swatched loads and loads of different blushes 
um, to see which ones I liked, which ones had a good payoff. So the ones I sort of think have the most, the best pigmentation is the Monsoon Accessorized Blushes, actually really surprised me. And they are approximately, I think they're about £4, but they're really, really good, really pigmented. Sleek also have amazing pigmentation blushes, although the Sleek ones are a little bit chalky, but they have some really gorgeous colours. I think it's the rose gold one has, it's, it's not the same, it's not an exact dupe, but it's very close to NARS Orgasm, so that definitely would look good on olive skin because it has gold undertone to it. And they're about £4.29 for a blush. And finally, the MUA Mosaic ones, like I showed you before, these are £2.50, um, and this one is absolutely amazing. They only do one blush, which is this one, but they do do um, bronzers as well, and they do sort of like a ready bronzer, which could be used as a blush. Next thing I think is really important is having eyeshadows. Now, the best thing to do if you have absolutely no eyeshadows is to get palettes, because you get loads of different colours, so you don't feel like you are limited. So... I would start off with a more neutral coloured palette. So the one that I have that is High Street is MUA because I really, really love MUA palettes. The eyeshadows in them are gorgeous, they're really pigmented and I just think they're an excellent value. They're £4. This one is the Heaven and Earth one. Can't really see it because there's reflection. There we go. This one's the Heaven and Earth one, it's the natural palette. They also do an undress palette, which is sort of like a, a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked palette. But um, this is one of my favourite neutral palettes, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's so easy. You get such, like, from light to dark neutral colours, and I just think it's fantastic. So I definitely recommend this, this is £4. Um, another one that is a similar size to this and has just as many colours in is the Sleek... Well, the Sleek do the Storm palette, which is more sort of um, greys and blacks and and I think they have like some neutral like browns and nudes in them. But then they do the own Natural palette as well, which is a little bit like this, sort of like the same sort of shades and, and stuff like that. So the own Natural palette and the Storm palette from Sleek are really good, and I think they are $7.99 for a palette from Sleek. However, if you want something that is going to fit in quite a small makeup bag, these are quite large, so I would say maybe go for a quad. Now, the best eyeshadows I have found in quads in the high street is definitely, um, where are they? The Revlon Quad, I think that's the 16 hour colour stay ones. And they do a quad called Addictive. And it has just four really neutral colours that you could really play around with and are great for daytime. And it's just like a small square that you could fit really easily into a makeup bag. Or if you prefer, Fashionista have amazing eyeshadows, really pigmented, and I absolutely love them, and I don't have any, and I think with my birthday money I might go out and treat myself, but they do a make your own palette. So basically you go in and you buy the little square quad palette, and that's £5, and then it's £4 for each eyeshadows, but they do some really, really gorgeous eyeshadows, they do the baked ones as well, which are amazing, but four eyeshadows that I've picked from the Fashionista ones are the Nude Glimmer, which is a shimmer nude, but you can also get nude in a matte colour, so it depends which one you prefer. Um, and then they do uh, Radiant, which is, I think it's a baked one, and that's more of a goldy brown colour. So that's really nice for in the crease. Then they do Foxy, which is a really nice light brown colour, which could be used all over the lid. And then the last one is Cafe Ole, which is a more off-white colour. So you could use that all over the lid if you like, or you could use it for highlight, like in the this bit here. What's it called? The tear duct bit, the inner corner. You could use it to highlight that. So they're just the four colours that I would pick to put in um, one of my cords. And again, it's really small, so you can fit it in a makeup bag. The last thing for my absolute basics is mascara. So... Mascara I would recommend, well one of my favourite mascaras at the moment is the Gosh Catchy Eyes Mascara and I talk about it all the time. I have looked in stores and I'm not actually sure if they sell this anymore. I don't know whether it's just in card if they don't have it but I didn't buy it that long ago when it was brand new out so you should be able to still get it. 
but it looks like this anyway but this is a really really gorgeous day mascara it's not overly volumizing but it's really good at lengthening and curling as well the next thing is the maybelline are definitely i would say the most consistent in having amazing mascaras and a lot of my favorite mascaras of all time are always maybelline so one of my favorite mascaras is the maybelline cat eyes mascara and I can't actually show you it, so I'm going to show you this one instead because it looks very similar. And except this is the smoky eye one, but except with the smoky stuff, you get like the orange um, leopard print on it. I think it has orange writing on it as well. But the Cat Eyes Mascara is one of my all time favourite mascaras. I absolutely love the brush. It's really, really lengthening. You can build it up so it's volumizing. So yeah, that is basically it for my makeup starter kit. I think this is gonna be quite a long video, so I'm sorry if I bored you a little bit. But um, yeah, so that's everything for now. I will be hopefully doing a nice big birthday haul next week and showing you everything that I've bought for my birthday or that I've been bought for my birthday. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. The button is up here somewhere. I try and upload videos every week, um, it's getting harder and harder with university work getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'll put a link to my vlog video on my vlog channel up here somewhere um, and I'll be talking about how my week started off pretty crappy and then what I did for my birthday. If you are interested in knowing what I did for my birthday, maybe you're not. Um, but yeah, so that will be up there as well. I'll put links to my vlog channel and my blog down in the description below so you can go and check them out as well. So I will see you sometime next week. So bye bye.